On 5th June, that is the World Environment Day, in the year 2020, the Indian Railways made a legendary declaration. They said that the bio toilets have been installed in over 68,000 coaches till then, and with this, there is not a single railway coach left in the country which does not have bio toilets, which means the bio toilets have been installed in the 100% of the coaches and we also are able to see its profound results upon its implementation. As we know in earlier times, if we were to go to any railway station early in the morning, let's say suppose from Mumbai you want to commute to the office, okay, early in the morning. So you can imagine it becomes very difficult to stand even on the platform due to the presence of the filth and the smell all around. And yes, just think of the that railway staffs who used to work daily and go through these fields and on the track daily basis. And they used to clean the tracks, the platforms, the coach toilets. Means I want to say the whole railway premise. But yes, now with the advent of the bio toilets, the scenario of the cleanliness has been changed tremendously, which has helped the railway staff to maintain the hygiene. In the year 2012, the bio toilets were developed by DRDO. At that time, it was made for the soldiers who were posted in the region of Ladakh and Siachi, as they used to have lot of water problems and the waste disposal was very difficult. So basically it posed the problems for the sanitation and cleanliness. But then, gradually it found its relevance in the Indian Railways also. The then Ruler Development Minister Shri Jairam Ramesh ji gave a landmark statement. As per him, the Indian Railways is the world's largest open toilet and it is necessary to close it first. Sooner, Indian Railways began to implement bio toilets into the coaches and today we can see the results. So currently over 2.5 lakhs bio toilets have been installed in over 70,000 coaches. So what is a bio toilet? The bio toilet is a decomposition mechanized toilet system which decomposes the human excretory waste in the digester tank using specific high graded bacteria that may be aerobic or anaerobic, further converting it into the methane gas, water and the carbon dioxide. The biodigester technology treats the human waste at the source. Certain anaerobic bacteria whose working temperature ranges from as low as minus 5 degrees to as high as 50 degrees act as inocula that is the seed material to the biodigesters. Now this flow chart basically explains the working of the bio toilet. The human waste which is collected into the biodigester tank is acted upon by the anaerobic bacteria. Why preferably anaerobic bacteria? Is simply because in the name itself it's anaerobic that means without the presence of ox oxygen the bacteria performs its function so basically oxygen is not required so basically this anaerobic bacteria converts the waste into the two forms the liquid and the gaseous form so the gaseous forms the gaseous products are basically what the carbon dioxide and the methane gas and the rest of the liquid products along with water is basically fed into the chlorination chamber out of which it comes out as the disinfected liquid which could be discharged freely to outside that is the products obtained after the anaerobic decomposition of the waste are completely harmless to the surrounding to the environment and even may be used for the cooking purpose as biogas And this is how the degradation process 
is carried out by the anaerobic bacteria. So you can have a quick glimpse of this flow chart in which the degradation process is being carried out. The basically the complex organic material that is in the form of proteins, polysaccharides etc. is being first converted into the monomers and oligomers which are the commonly known as amino acids, sugar, pepticides etc. And in turn they are then converted into the alcohols, fatty acids, lactic acids etc. and which in turn gets converted into the acetic acid CH3COOH, carbon dioxide and water and finally then after further reaction it gets converted into methane and carbon dioxide. So this methane gas basically can be very well used for the cooking purposes as biogas as explained earlier. This is one of the crucial component that is the biodigester tank. And your voice should come in the video. Okay. This is the first chamber. So whatever comes in, you go to this one one day. Then this is the second chamber. You come here. You can go this side. Second chamber. To this pipe. Then you can come to this third chamber. So this gap. Then this is fourth chamber. Then this is the fifth chamber. This is the sixth chamber. From this, it will come this, like this. This is the last chamber. From here, here one chlorine filter will be there. Uh, chlorine filter. Chlorine filter. Okay. So then, water will come up finally. Water. Okay. So this is the working. Okay. Ah, working. Okay. In user railway, they will fill anaerobic bacteria. We are here. We are not filling anaerobic bacteria. The bacteria's purpose is. People uh, eat human waste, everything. Finally, only water only will come out there. Mm -hmm. So, we are not using anaerobic bacteria? We are not filling here, user railway. Uh -huh. Because uh, after uh, uh, filling here means uh, service condition will be after two months or three months only. So, okay. bacteria life will be there. Right. So, they will so, instead of this, what we are using now? No, nothing. Only by time only we will filter. Okay. okay. At the time of commissioning, no chemical, will... nothing. Okay. At the time of commissioning, they will fill anaerobic material. At the time of, okay. They uh, are railway. No, like, like here, here we are not filling bacteria. No, like a chamber there. A particular chamber they put there, but we don't have a chamber. Here we are not allowed filling any bacteria, only in railways only they are filling. So, the laboratory to find only they are filling. Now these are the some of the main parts of the digester tank. Stainless steel tank with the 6 or the 7 partition walls inside the tank depending upon the design. It may have the 6 partition or it may have 7 also. Polygrass mats for the protection of bacteria inside the partition walls. There is also a ball valve with handle for operation during the emergency for making the toilet direct discharge in case of any choking problem if it undergoes. Stainless steel fartners in place of mild steel or the tank covers. Strong bonding of colonized rubber mat with vertical walls and also along with chlorinator, sampling cork, safety wire ropes and other related accessories. So now let's get inside into the chlorinated section. Uh, what is it? This is uh, chlorine, chlorine jacket. Also, oh, this is chlorine filter. Can you? Hand? This is chlorine filter. This okay. is chlorine jacket. Chlorine jacket. 
ओके दिस इज क्लोरीन जैकेट ओके एंड थ्रू दिस वाटर कम्स आउट हां दिस इज ड्राइंग दिस इज वाटर कम आउट इज हियर इज दैट वाटर कम्स आउट फ्रॉम हियर एंड दिस इज व्हाट ओके वाटर कम्स आउट फ्रॉम दिस एंड दिस साइड ओके एंड दिस इज व्हाट दिस इज ड्राइंग ड्रेन यू नो आई थिंक यू हैव टू ड्रेन आउट एक्सेस वाटर ओके ओके एंड दिस वे इट गोस लाइक दिस है ना दिस गोड लाइक दिस एंड देन लेट्स नाउ अंडरस्टैंड द असेंबली ऑफ द एस ट्रैप अलॉन्ग विद यू ब्रैकेट विच एक्ट एज अ कनेक्टर विद द कमोड विद दायोडाइजेस्टर टैंक इसके ऊपर और ये अच्छा इधर बोल्ट कर देंगे और यहाँ पे अच्छा यू क्लैम इसके ऊपर ऐसे फिट हो जाए अच्छा तो ओके अच्छा ये है फोटो मार लीजिए इसे हाँ वीडियो ले इसका क्या रोल शक्ति और जो है ना जो बॉडी में ऐसे लग जाएगा बॉडी में शक्ति और हमें घुस जाएगा वो इथे से जाके शक्ति और घुस जाएगा नाक बोल दे देंगे शक्ति और जो है शक्ति के लिए वो एरो अच्छा सेफ्टी के लिए वो जो हां वो एरो अच्छा लॉकिंग प्लेट का सर घुस जाएगा अच्छा ये शक्ति और है लॉकिंग प्लेट ठीक है हैव अ क्विक लुक एट द एस ट्रैप असेंबली नाउ Let us have a quick look at the items required for the bio digester assembly. These include four mounting brackets, four safety ropes, eight locking plates, sixteen hexagonal headed bolts, sixteen hexagonal nuts M16 size, sixteen spring washers, sixteen hexagonal headed bolts again with size M8, eight U brackets the size as mentioned. and four positive mounting brackets now let us quickly look at the instructions for the fitment of bio digester now let us look into the recent developments we have which have been taken place the latest in the bio toilets earlier they used to be the ball valve open close pedal mechanism which now has been replaced with the clutch wire mechanism by easily rotating the handle so the maintenance relatively has been reduced at present the clutch wire mechanism is being now replaced with the s trap arrangement because of the more choking problems arising due to the dumping of the waste Now finally let us look into the some of the advantages of the bio toilets. So with the advent of the bio toilets not only it prevents nearly 2 lakh 74000 liters of human excreta from being littered on the tracks per day but also it saves the Indian railways around rupees 400 crores annually on the account of the cost incurred in changing of the corroded rails and fittings. so much amount of annual saving is being done secondly it is completely environment and user friendly as we have already discussed that it releases harmless products both liquid as well as gaseous it uses the nature's products to clean human waste that is the anaerobic bacteria and next point it is water positive solution and preserves ground water quality it is virtually maintenance free and also it improves the aesthetics at the railway station as well so thanks to all of you for patient listening and i hope you like this video 
and you gain a lot of learning about the bio toilets. Thank you so much.